So in this video, I'm going to explain different CAD softwares. CAD systems, software modules, what are the different modules are operating system module, graphics module, applications module, programming module, communication module. So as for the module, the software packages will be there. Now let us see that one by one in detail operating system module. So it provides users with utility and system commands that deal with their accounts and files. The file manipulations, managing directories, programming and accounts setup are supported by the operating system module. The second one is a graphics module. So it provides users with various functions to performing geometric modeling and constructions, editing and manipulation of existing geometry, drafting and documentation. All the graphical related we are using the graphics module. Most all the CAD softwares are this graphics module is compulsory. So the, the typical graphics operations are model creation, cleanup, documentation and plotting. The third one is the applications module. Based on the applications, the creation of a geometric model of an object represents a means and not a goal to engineers. Their ultimate goal is to be able to utilize the model for design and manufacturing purposes. Mass property calculations, assembly analysis, tolerance analysis, sheet metal design, finite element modeling and analysis, mechanisms analysis and animations techniques and simulation analysis of plastic injection molding etc. You can able to use in this application module. Next one is uh, um, the manufacturing applications include process planning and uh, NC, SIEM, robot simulation and group technology. The fourth one is a programming module. So it provides users with system dependent and standard programming languages. The fifth one is a communications module. So this module is crucial if integration is to be achieved between the CAD CAM system, other computer systems and manufacturing facilities. So it is common to network the system to transfer the CAD database of a model for analysis purpose or to transfer its CAM database to shop floor for production. So available CAD softwares. So AutoCAD, it is one of the most popular CAD software used for creating the 2D and 3D design, drafting and modeling. SOLIDWORKS, the SOLIDWORKS is widely used for 3D mechanical design and engineering. So KATIA, KATIA is a comprehensive CAD software used in various industries including aerospace and automato for complex 3D modeling and simulation. So CRIO, the formerly pro engineer, the CRIO is known for its parametric 3D modeling capabilities and is used in product design and engineering. So Inventor, Autodesk Inventor is a 3D CAD software primarily used for product design and simulation. Reno, so Reno is a 3D modeling software popular among architect and industrial designers for its flexibility in creating complex shapes. Tinkercad. The Tinkercad is a beginner friendly uh, web based CAD software used for education purposes and basic 3D modeling. SOLIDWORKS Composer. This tool is used for creating the 2D and 3D graphical content for product documentation and assembly instructions. Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is a cloud-based CAD CAM tool by Autodesk suitable for product design, engineering and simulation. Blender. While primarily known as a 3D modeling and animation tool, Blender has CAD capabilities and is a free open source software. The FreeCAD. 
Precad is an open source parametric 3D CAD modeler designed for use in engineering and product design. So NX, formerly called as a Unigraphics, NX is a powerful CAD CAM CAE software used in various industries including aerospace and automotive. So draft site, draft site is a 2D CAD software primarily used for drafting and drawing tasks. So AutoCAD LT, a lighter version of AutoCAD, AutoCAD LT is suitable for 2D drafting and documentation. OnShape, OnShape is a cloud-based CAD platform that allows collaborative 3D modeling and design. So these are the different uh, CAD softwares we want to uh, learn in detail in this uh, video. Thank you.